What up, peeps? So if, if you follow uh, the NFL, you obviously know that the Philadelphia Eagles drafted a quarterback in the draft, and Sam Bradford's not very happy about it. But you know, I personally sit here and I think that Sam Bradford just needs to shut up and prove it himself. The fact is, is you signed a contract that gave you $22 million guaranteed. $22 million guaranteed. So no matter what you fucking happens to you, if you're not on the team or get cut or anything like that, you still got $22 million guaranteed. And, and this is the reason why I think you should just shut the fuck up and quit bitching. Is, is that, yes, last year Sam Bradford did have his best completion percentage of, the, of his career at 65%, but he only played 14 games. And here's the big concern for me. You threw 19 touchdowns and you fucking threw, and you threw 14 interceptions. In your NF, NFL career, you've never thrown over 21 touchdowns in a season, and you fucking are an average quarterback. The, the, it's amazing to me that a team would actually go out and give you that much money in the first fucking place. You should feel fortunate to even be in the fucking NFL. They didn't draft that kid to come out and play immediately. They drafted him to sit behind you. And, and, and ultimately, you may make their job easy because you may force their hand to start the kid. You know, but ultimately, I just think that, that Sam Bradford needs to be for, needs to feel like he's fortunate to have a starting job in the NFL because he's an average quarterback, you know. And, and you know, people can disagree with me on that, and they probably will. But the stats don't lie. You know, in five years in the NFL, you know, you've thrown 78 touchdowns and you've got 52 interceptions. You know, that's not exactly, you know, a great, that's not exactly something everybody wants, you know. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I personally feel like he should just shut the fuck up because, you know, I would have never given him that much money. And I don't think a lot of teams would have given him that much money. Plus... The major thing he has against him is coming out and being a fucking diva is going to push other teams away from actually wanting to trade for you. Why the fuck would anybody want to trade for you if you're going to act like a bitch, you know? I mean, it's straight up. It, it is what it is. I mean, fucking, he came out as soon as that happened and started acting like a fool, you know? And, and you know, and hey, it could all just be blown out of proportion and he could end up being perfectly fine. You know, but but my opinion is is that he he just should fucking shut his mouth, go out there, throw some fucking touchdowns, win some fucking games, and roll along. If you're good enough, they'll keep you. If you're not, you won't be there in two years or three years or I think it's two years actually left on the contract. You know, but that that's the thing. You know, that's the beauty of the NFL is is that. You know, you sign the contract, your contract will be up, you can fucking leave. You know, there's been plenty of teams in the league that have gotten a quarterback, had him sit behind the fucking guy for a couple of years, and then had him start, and it paid off for them. You know, I think he should just, you know, quit worrying about the shit that's not his issue, and worry about playing the damn game. But that's my opinion, and if you got any comments on it, go ahead and leave them below. Peace!